So welcome everyone to today's speaker event, A Ripple of Change, the journey of Hyunsung Lee's escape from North Korea. As a volunteer for AKUSA, I wanted to contribute by finding a way to engage more youth in this work, especially since it is the young people that serve as the backbone of any kind of grassroots movement. So naturally I thought, why not reach out to my friends from Link at UCLA and try to organize a speaker event that touches upon the human rights issue in North Korea, as well as this idea of unifying the Korean homeland as a long-term solution. Hyunsun Lee is a highly sought after consultant specialized in North Korea affairs for a variety of think tanks and NGOs in the Washington DC area. As a son of a high ranking official, Hyunsun was raised in an elite environment with the most prestigious opportunities available in North Korean society. But with the start of a series of brutal purges by Kim Jong-un, he and his family defected back in 2014, and they are now settled here in the United States. So let's welcome up Hyun Sung Lee. So six years ago, on October 5th, 2015, my family and I made a significant decision in our lifetime. We left our beloved country in search for freedom. I'd like to explain the main reason my family defected. The reason is because Kim Jong-un's indiscriminate push and execution. Starting with the execution of his uncle, Chang Song Tech's associates in November 2014, he purged about 500 elites. Literally every day, there was a news and information that someone had been purged when I was in North Korea. Experiencing such brutal purges, my family was angry with the regime and then thought that such a regime had lost its cause and value to exist any longer. So as soon as I graduated high school, I joined the military. The first day of arriving training camp, I found that there was a 10 uh, senior members like who had served like in one or two years more than me. And then they were very thin and looked so lethargic. But uh, what was shocking was that they all had two fingers missing. In North Korean military, there was a rule that if you lost the two um, fingers or like the, the, um, the main finger to shoot the gun, if you're unable to shoot the gun properly, and then uh, you could be discharged from the military. And then I think they cut their fingers by themselves because uh, the military life was really tough. After discharging from the military, I uh, was I able to join the North Korea Workers Party. In the first few years, I didn't try to see social problems of North Korea or had doubts about the regime. However, uh, China's development and the access to South Korean news and the internet and interact with, interact with South Korean students and Chinese people. So after three years, I think I uh, most of my perception changed. In North Korea, all courses at university are decided by the government, and you cannot choose any subjects you want. And uh, during this college, I played a uh, soccer game and play other board games with South Korean students a lot. So while interacting with them uh, without monitoring by the regime, I realized that they are not my enemies, that I was educated in North Korea. Through interaction with them, I felt that the anti-Japanese and anti-Korean and anti-American education of the North Korean regime was totally wrong and the people of two Korea could easily unify if there is no uh, government interception. North Korean regime controlled the information inside North Korea. So in 2003, nearly 200 students of uh, North Korea Kim Il-sung University and Pyongyang University of Foreign Studies, which are top schools in North Korea, uh, were detained in prison. Like 200 students were detained in prison. They were merely imprisoned for watching and sharing American and South Korean movies. What is surprising here is the police beat and imprisoned the students until they call out the names of friends who share the information. I would say almost all North Koreans have seen foreign content at least once. 
the younger generation mainly watched and read cultural education and technology content. Meanwhile, the older generation is seeking mainly, mainly seek thought outside the news and information on how the world views North Korea. I have to make this public because I hope you understand many people think about why don't we make like a peace treaty with North Korean regime? And if we, why don't we just, you know, sit down and then have a talk with North Korean regime? And if you understand North Korean regime correctly, the, the regime cannot simply sit down and make a peace treaty with United States and South Korea because the regime committed against the uh, crime against the humanity for 70 years. I think we have to question that will Kim Jong-un keep up his nuclear weapons and improve human rights of North Korea? And does the resolution of North Korea nuclear issue guarantee freedom and human rights of North Koreans? And can North Koreans travel freely to South Korea if we sign the peace treaty? I think we have to answer these fundamental questions frankly. The North Korean issue is not a matter that the U.S. or South Korea can make concessions through negotiations. It is a matter of freedom, human rights, and the life of people in North Korea. One day in the future, we'll be able to say that we did the right thing for 25 million people in North Korea who have the same human rights as we, as the rest of us. Like the name of today's event, I believe that as Hyunsung took action to create the ripples of change by defecting from North Korea and now sharing his story to the world, all of us here on this Zoom call, we can also create those small ripples by joining these efforts and getting involved. Um, eventually, we want, we want to see these ripples turn into waves where the power of a grassroots movement can determine you know, the future fate of the Korean peninsula.